here is something that I absolutely did not need. All right. So we can see a little bit of uh, chat room on the Kirby Crazy Show. <laughs> now I'm recording, and of course, look at that. There's that ugly guy who's operating the camera down there. <laughs> All right, anyways, none of that's the point. No, no, no. Instead, the point of the video today is this. This is a candle, J-I-L, of course. What's the model on this? Let's go ahead and flip it upside down if I can. The thing is actually fairly heavy. Oh, it's not even on the bottom. It's on the back. So let's go ahead and flip it around here. Real professional to do that on video, isn't it? Got some kind of a shock hazard here. You can see model number JCR869, JL candle. AM FM stereo co-op radio cassette recorder. Yes, indeed. This not only sports the ability to do FM stereo, but also it has a tape deck, which you probably saw already. Okay. And it appears to also support external speakers. That's actually fairly cool, too. I might have to experiment with that at some point. Consumes 12 watts. Made in Korea. Does have battery backup. It didn't come with a battery, though, as I am accustomed to seeing with a lot of these things. It does have an external FM antenna, which is fairly neat. All right. It looks like these are just some vents at the back. See on the top are stereo speakers, as well as a couple of our switches. It's got dual alarms. You can set whether or not you want to wake to a buzz or to the radio. And there's a dimmer switch for that uh, for the uh, display. It's got stereo microphone too. There's one over there and one over here, so it's actually stereo. It's not like most of these things, which put both of the microphones in exactly the same place, so you don't get very much stereo at all, if anything at all. Period. So we can get a look at the display. There's it on its brightest setting and its dimmest setting. Of course, it's only got two settings, so I'm not sure why I'm saying that. Another thing that it seems to support, which a lot of these things I've seen lately actually have, is the calendar. Calendar feature. There's some more setting buttons, obviously, on the front here. We can get some light so we can get some focus. There's a tape counter, a record light, FM stereo indicator, as well as something for a message. I'm not quite sure what that is, but well, maybe somebody can enlighten me. There's a tuning band, dual alarm system it says. Headphone output on the front, balance control, tone control, volume control, a selector, power switch, tuning knob is over there, and then there are the controls for the tape deck. It appears to be auto stop and also auto level control. So all right, let's go ahead and have a listen to the radio first and then we'll have a listen to the cassette deck. So we'll switch this into, let's switch it to FM auto. Kick on the power here. It looks like we're almost running out of batteries on this camcorder again. Eh, that could be a problem. Again, I swear this volume control was scratchy when I got it, but maybe not. It probably wasn't the best camcorder to use for this because it's only mono, so you can't really hear the stereo. There you go. You can trust me when I say that it's in stereo. Maybe I'll uh, record a little sample from it and we'll have a listen to what it sounds like. The tone control's a little scratchy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and tune it. Unfortunately, the tuning knob's a little broken. There's that interference again. And you can see it's uh, a little busted. Ejaculation, you know, for me, boxing is... It was a tight I'm going to turn this off and not be able to see the other stereo light coming in. It's having a little problem focusing, isn't it? 
I guess there's not enough light. And then it got stuck again. I swear this worked when I brought it home, so unfortunately it seems to have not survived the trip home. Isn't that interference? Very loud. Okay, let's switch it over to AM now. Oh, that's picking that up really good. This would be a really, really, really great radio. Didn't have that minor issue, unfortunately. I could probably fix it. I'm not sure what the problem exactly would be. It would probably be very simple to fix. Alright. Let's go ahead and switch it over to tape and we'll get a tape. Let's see, what tape should I get? This is another thing I bought today. Oh, this looks good. Don't you think? Okay, so it's in tape mode here and the power is on. Let's go ahead and eject. And let's see. Well, I'll have to do the least amount of rewinding with this. So. Here you can see the tape counter. There is it rewinding and actually seeming to work. It does have the, uh, I turned this camera light off. It's got a little orange thing, but it doesn't light up like the Vector Research cassette deck does. Supposedly it's auto stop, but evidently that's only for the play mode. So I'm going to reset the counter and hit play and have a listen to it. Hopefully it works. So I haven't really tested it before now. The way that it seemed to play. Alright, so it seems a little be, to be a little slow. But I'd wager to bet that that's because the belts are definitely going bad. be maintaining speed, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and see how well the auto stop works. Okay. So it looks like the auto stop doesn't actually work. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Just a little slow, a little slower than I'm used to seeing. But anyways, there you go with that. Let's go ahead and have a demonstration of the alarm now. Now, once again, I'm gonna get a listen to it before I uh, before I start the camera. Well, we'll get a listen to it immediately when I start the camera. That's what it sounds like. Balance control has got no effect on it. Tone control has no effect on it. The volume control only seems to affect the radio. I take that back. It seems to affect the, uh, the buzz a little bit, but not very much. see the calendar. And alarm off feature. Again, I'm not sure what message does. So anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this Candle JCR869 clock radio cassette deck. 
I'll have to see about the belt issue, if it actually does have a belt issue or if it just needs a little bit of adjustment. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. This is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Until then, let's go ahead and have a yellow fade, because why not? I think that looks cool.